fallen. I can only assume it's Derek's sisters wanting to with us. I was talking to this CO while I was in prison. Is that you follow me? It was. My girl, Monique. I'm gonna buy her a ring. We're gonna kill it down here as far as business. Yep. I haven't had the strength to tell Travis. I can't afford to live in Florida anymore because business has been awful. Baby. No. Our landlord no. gave us two weeks to vacate. We don't have any money. I know, but that's where you need to step up and figure something out. Talk to my PO. I am allowed to drink, not to excess, and make sure I stay out of trouble. I worry that Cameron might get caught up into doing stupid Man, Eric's getting married, like, tomorrow. What? Hi, baby. You may now kiss your bride. Woo! Our first date. What's up? What's up? Babe. Nathan definitely has some jealousy issues. You think I'm a bitch? My biggest fear is he's going to trigger you two, because that's what used to happen. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to definitely need more time to decide if this is who I really want to spend the rest of my life with. I'm very excited to consummate my marriage. I hope she gets pregnant the first time. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> Kyler, you Be quiet, guys. Just get your ass on, please. I can use some help over here. I don't want you working anymore. You need to quit. Are you serious? Ready to get to it? Yes. How long does the smart pregnancy test thing take? Takes like, um, probably like under three minutes. Shouldn't they just be one that you could just think it now? They still resort to the pee-pee on the stick. Okay, listen, though. If it comes up positive, are you going to be happy? Yeah. Yeah, because now I'm all hyped up. Okay, you check. I'm just going to wait. Okay. <laughs> Holy Is that a good holy bad holy We're pregnant. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it though. I mean, how 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 is it even possible? I could very well been the first night. Second night it was one of the first nights. That line is bull I know. Oh, my God. So what are we going to do, Mike? What are we going to do now? Buy a bigger house, a bigger <laughs> car. <It's> like... <laughs> We're going to do, like, a car in the fourth row. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, well, my mom's coming this weekend, so this might be a good time to tell her. Tell her what? <sighs> but just to not tell my family. We just found out, though. I mean, wouldn't you want to keep it, like... You want to tell the kids and everything? I don't want to tell the kids. I didn't say anything about the kids. I said my mother. Justine's mother, she really doesn't like me that much, you know? And I've heard that her and Justine's had a rocky relationship. So it just puts me in a, like, you know, in a so-so mood because she might not support the idea of me and Justine having a baby right now. I don't know. I, I mean, we should Listen. tell about this later. Babe, I'm so excited. She better learn to like it, because I'm not going anywhere. More of a reason to quit now. Stay home. Raise the How baby. How is another Enjoy mouth pregnancy. to feed? How is another mouth to feed a reason to quit a job? Ready to go with my mom's? Oh, definitely. Did you tell your mom the real reason why we can't find a place to live? I mean, as far as what? Just like us going through financial troubles and stuff right now? Not you, baby. Like me. No, I told her exactly what happened. But everybody hits roadblocks, you know? The yeah. fact that we have nothing now doesn't mean we're not going to have anything in a year. When I met Travis's family through text years ago, I was doing good. Business was rocking, and then COVID hit, and it's been a struggle ever since. And right now, it's the worst it's ever been. We'll go to one of these shops and find something to bring to her. Okay. Hopefully, they don't think that I tried to catfish Travis. It would be really insensitive of them, considering they know what kind of money I spent on him. 
the last four years. Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, how you doing, man? Hi. I'm doing all right. Are you shopping for yourselves or for someone else? My future mother-in-law. Oh, yeah. So we're, this uh, is important. Yeah, it's important. You uh, mess this up. I actually was away for a long time, so it's just something to bring as, you know, maybe a peace offering. Actually making a good impression with my mom is very, very, very important. Maybe even more than one might like, be. Maybe one from you, maybe one from Maybe one me? from you, one from me, yeah. and then one together. My mother is a big part of my life, and having them have a good relationship is imperative. She can be a hard person to win over. These are 28 each. I think that'll be good. It's a little much, but she's worth it. All right, so your total is 85, 86, please. All right. Uh, I hate to do this, but it actually got declined. Oh, yeah. My card that I got for him has less money than I thought. Babe, do you have any cash on you? I have 10 bucks that I found in the car, actually. Gotcha. So I know that Travis is used to me pulling money out of thin air for him, but the money's gone. We're homeless. What do I have to offer this man at this point? Maybe Oops. we can find a couple more dollars in the car. Yeah. Let us run to the car and we'll be right back. No All right, thank you. <laughs> do you have any more money in the car? I don't know. I love my mom. I wanted her to feel without a doubt that I was comfortable and cared for. Let's see if there's anything in here. Probably got like five or six dollars here and change. And now I don't feel that much myself. Bam. I got $20, 20 bucks, which I was gonna use to get my nails done. Thank you. Are you trying to impress your mom? Yes! What the f we have to get something. Who the f shows up at a house after not seeing somebody for you're over a decade, and you show up empty-handed like some trash? I'm not trash. I'm not saying you're trash. I'm saying I don't want us to look like trash. I mean, like, do you not understand the things that I've sacrificed, and now you want me to buy some candles? This makes no sense. Look, I'm not, I can't, I can't keep going through this about money. We both know we don't have all right? We can't just keep arguing about over and over and over again. I wake up thinking about this shit, go to sleep thinking about it. I'm thinking that you're looking at me like I can't ever provide for you. Like I, I'm never gonna be what you need. What do you wanna do? You wanna give up? You wanna go our separate ways? No, like you're the only, like I've lost everything. I'm not gonna lose you too. I'm scared. I'm just scared. Like, I'll be back. I'm just trying to do something good to make her look good. And she's not seeing that. Ashley has a reputation to uphold, an image, and her financial situation right now is pretty bleak. 60. You're set. Hey, mom's gonna be happy. That's what yeah, no, she, she will be. Maybe I should have stuck with a greeting card and a 40. She ain't wanna come here, but you gonna go to yeah. town. So how you feel about your girl, bro? I love her, man. She, you she love her. Yeah, I love her. She love me. Oh Why did she start all kind of with Ariana and they start Elizabeth with each other, man? They making jokes about her. And she but that jokes doesn't about make them. her fight fire with fire. She she for her to be downgrading and degrading our family like some piece of trash that you throw away is uncomprehensible. She stayed solid with me. She kept it real with me, man, two and a half years, man. When you was in and out, you was bull When you was being there, not picking the phone up, not answering, and you was saying you were going to do something, you weren't doing it, she was there for the last two and a half years, not consistent. Loyalty, man. Love and loyalty, man. The sex must be trash, man. Nah, it's good. Terrible. She all right, man. You got to see her and get a meter, man. She's not even your type.
Okay. Derek has been gone all day. And what has he been doing? I'm not sure, but I'm annoyed and frustrated. It's like, I didn't do anything. So why are you not answering the phone when I'm just trying to make sure you're OK? Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. This is ridiculous. Like, it's been three hours and still no show. It's family against the world, right? Yeah, it's family against you the world. Mon Mon like Monique, Monique part of the family, though. She's not part of the family, she is. Bro. You haven't even met her yet. That ain't cool. And you're not standing up for the family, bro. How I'm not standing up for the family? You're not standing up for the family. You're letting people, outsiders, affect the family, bro. She's no, going to tear us no, apart. No, no, not at all. you just going over what everybody else saying. You might like her. They all might hit it off. Bro, we don't what? hate BBW. Let me show you something else, bro. This is who was chasing me last night, bro. Yeah, that's something a little different right That's here. what I'm talking about, Donnie. Yeah, she's solid. Is that like a tablet you got yeah, from jail? that's what I had in jail. We all sent me messages. Was who really? got that? <laughs> and the girl who chased me. It's a jailhouse tablet. It's where we keep all our pictures, all our videos, all our messages. I probably talked about 20 plus girls on this, whether it's been a message, a video. Bro, it's giving me polygamy vibes, bro. You have girls getting tattoos. You got one girl you about to marry. Is this sister wives? No, man, it ain't even like that. We all send me messages. A video right here. Female I was talking to, she twerking for me. Fat old ass. I'd rather meet her before I meet Monique. Why, why, why? I be wanting to keep it away from Monique so she won't know. I ain't got time for that. Family. What's going on? We was at the mall shopping. Bryce, what's up, nephew? He missed you. What's up? Are you tired? Why are you at the mall shopping? Hey, Derek, I missed you. We've been trying to get in touch with you. We don't have your number. You don't get my number. No, bro. Hey, that bitch man can crazy act like she don't want to give us some other <laughs> number, and I don't like what it is. You already funny. told me that he don't want us to judge her. It Man, that bitch just me. Bryson, why don't you go get ready? Because we're going to leave in a second. So we just need you to get together while we talk to your uncle. So the point is, the bitch is disrespectful. She's manipulative. She's jealous. She's obsessed. <laughs> she's overweight. She's hungry. She's dysfunctional. She was tracking him. Yeah, she, she was up, tracking him. Monique, don't let me out of her sight. I can barely talk to anybody. She want to know who I'm talking to. I get a text coming in. So, you know what? And I'll deal with Monique later. You will never see him in my again, ho. He don't love your big ass. OK, we're going to go. Right. We're going to talk oh, about that later. We're we going to go. We're going to go. Oh, right. They have something to show you, and I'm excited. Let's go. We're right, excited. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
The whole point of this thing is so you can meet my family. We just got married. You can go enjoy your time with your friends and family. I need you to stay on your P's and Q's. I was excited for Eris to meet my family that didn't come to the wedding, you know, and everybody just learn each other, kick it. So I'm a little pissed. I don't like it, but I'm going to just let you rock the f*** out. It's really unacceptable. And I don't like the impression that she's about to leave on my family. You're supposed to be with me. I'm not going. I hear that gang you, Papa. All right, so what if I don't go to Florida with you? Then what? Go, go do what you need to do. Spend time with your family. I only have a limited time here. Control your neck muscles when you're talking. I can talk however the I want to talk. You better hope I come back doing dumb ass Bye. like that. I don't even give a I'll give this back when I know I love you. They are not in the house. Yo! Hey, uh, do you know what's going on? No, I don't. I'm trying to go me. We don't know where they are. They're not at the house. I'm going to keep trying to call Do you think you could come here? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Hey, so this is all I've gotten so far today, is that we were supposed to meet you and Nathan here. Um, when I got to the house, they're not here, so. Huh. Well, I'll knock on his door. Okay. Maybe just check the front, the back. I mean, I don't think he's in there. What do we do? do this is my dream. life. This is my life. You don't understand what I mean, like, every time she's out. You think she's using? I mean, 90% of the time, my instincts are right. Have you tried Nathan? Over and over. I've tried Katie, the girl she was with last night. The last time I talked to her, it was, it was pretty well with him, so. So what do we do? I don't know. I don't want to go to the place. If she is using, if she has anything on her, she'll go back up. I, I mean, what do you do? What do you do in this situation? Just look for her. It's been so long. I don't know where she would even be. I mean, if she relapsed, we'll wait for her. You know what I mean? I just need to find her. I'm sorry, I don't know you. I'm sorry. Right. I've met you before. Have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what we've been dealing with. Are you seriously worried? Oh, yeah, I'm worried about Skylar yeah. relapsing. I mean, that's, yeah, I'm not worried that Nate would be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, but I'm just, yeah, I'm worried about her. Hey, that's, uh... Relapsing. That's my biggest fear, oh, yeah. obviously. For sure. Not. And losing her. I feel like she just doesn't want to... Yeah, she doesn't want anybody to see her like this. Yeah. That's what I... That's what I think, too. Well...
I've been fighting with Skylar. I just hope Skylar comes to her senses and starts making better choices because I need her to start thinking about both of us instead of just her instant gratification that she has. She just does things in the moment. She doesn't think about how it's going to affect us and longevity and just, just things. It's just hard. It's hard to deal with. I'm trying to deal with my emotions. I, I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is too much. I can't deal with it. So please get the out of my truck, respectfully. Sorry, bro. What what happened? I'm gonna skip that. Okay, how come? Just because. I love it. You gotta play cam music. Well, to Cam. Who Cam? Yeah. 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 She said she didn't want to come. Huh? Yeah. Lena, it's mommy. Okay. Come get the door, please. Hey, hey pumpkin. Hey. Um, Kendra, want to go run down to like get the car? Oh, of course. What's going on? Are you all back up? Um. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of? So about the wedding, I have fun. What about you? It was very long and very late. Did you fun... have fun? Yes, I did. OK. I wish you could stay a little bit longer, but unfortunately, you have school. You're just going to take you back to Florida. Are you cool with that? Mm -hmm. cool. Are you going to be good? Yeah. Here. I know Cam's not here right now. He had to go to a welcome home party with his friends and family. But he says bye, and he wish you have safe travels. And he wish he was here with you. Tell him that I say goodbye. Well, maybe you can call him before you go to the airport or something. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I don't know if he has time. He might be having too much fun. What is that? <laughs> how do you do it? Oh my God, you, you can't be serious. There's no way, there's no way I'm sitting up here tying your shoes and you're nine years old. Oh, okay, wait. wait, wait, wait. No, no, Can no, I do no, it? we ain't got time. You got a flight to catch. Grab your cell phone. Why didn't you go to the um, party with Kim? Um, Cause I didn't want to. And I really wasn't, I'm not really feeling that well either. I feel Why? a little weird. Come on, let's go. What's the problem? She didn't want to be. A, she didn't want to be around. She ain't want to come here, but you gonna go to town. Your wife not here, and we are a family. We'll be a family whether you have your wife or not. I think Eric's not showing up today. It's BS, and I'm not gonna bite my tongue about it. If you want to be a part of the family, why would you not show up to a family event like this? We came near your wedding. I don't give a f what y'all talking about. Take it up with her. Stop talking to me. Pour me another shot. You yelling at us because your wife ain't want to come to your party. Take it up no. with her. Oh, we will. I'm about to call her. Now that I know I'm pregnant, Mike says he should be the one making money. I should be here. The day I robbed the bank, I actually was on my way to go get drugs with a friend of mine and had him stop and told him that I had to go visit someone real quick. Went to the first teller I saw, showed him the weapon that I had, 
She was shaking and handed me everything in her drawer, and I was out of there. For three months after that, I was just living my life and truly thought that I had gotten away with it. Police came crashing in. I had about eight guns pressed to my forehead, and then I was paraded outside. Everybody else in the neighborhood staring at us. I don't feel uncomfortable at all with Travis being around the jewelry that I own. It's not like I keep my inventory on me. It's in a bank, so. Oh no, it's in a bank. <laughs> anyway, let's not go to any banks anytime soon. That's a good call. I received this necklace. As we have set up for us to go to Mommy's grave site. None of us have ever went there before. Here, how the flowers for Mommy? Almost 10 years she's been gone. We try to take it easy and go to bring you to a little more sentimental. Something closer. where we can get along, guys. Somewhere, yes. We don't want to bring that energy here. Yeah. yeah. So okay. right now, y'all need to release any type of little energy y'all got going on and throw it out the window real quick. When I was 20 years old, my mother was murdered night of her birthday, August 17th, 2013. Leaving the nightclub, it was a shootout. She got caught in a crossfire, got shot, and she she was murdered. She ain't make it. It's right here. It happened right before I got locked up, and I didn't really have time to grieve. It's crazy. Where's your B? Go to B. Where B at, Darren? We're gonna have to walk over. I love my mother wholeheartedly. She loved me, me and my mother relationship. It come from the streets. She was more so my friend. She had me when she was young, so she was living and learning herself. Yeah, it is like over here somewhere. Sure. Like over to the left. Seeing my mother in the streets, it was like captivating. And I took a liking to it. And I had learned about what we was from my mother. She was like, you can this you could it could be smoke it or you could sell it. So that's how that started. I think it's over here. You think it before that? I think I remember. Mm, mm, mm. And this is so. No, I found something. Yeah, I found you. Take a picture. Yeah. This is so how, beautiful. How you, how you put the uh, flash on? Wow. Flash on. R.I.P. Mommy. We gonna say it down. We gonna pray. Okay. Hold his hand, poo poo. Okay. I want it. For my mother to see me have my first child, to be there at my wedding. I had so much I wanted to do and share experience, memories I wanted to make with my mother, and now I can't. It's hard on me. It's heavy on my soul. God, please keep us together as brother and sister to see the brighter side of another day with our mother watching over us. I know she's proud of us. We here today. What you want to say, Derek? I finally made it out, Mom. Let you know we love you, we miss you. And we got each other. We gonna be here for each other. I need to get my life together. I need to stay out of trouble. I need to do the right thing. Be here for my brothers and sisters, my the family, my nephew. Give me strength to be the one to bring all my brothers and sisters together and be on the same page. I miss you so much, and I'm trying my hardest to keep your kids together as much We're as I can. We're gonna make it work. I know you love me. And we didn't say it a lot, didn't say it often, but I know you love me. I love you too, Mom. It was a strength, mommy. Protect us, be our guardian angel. We need you. Mm -hmm. I love you, mom. I love, I love you, mom. you mom. <laughs> I'm just glad, you know, we made it. I appreciate y'all bringing me out here. You know, I love y'all. Thank y'all for, you know, doing this for me. Oh, I you love know. you. Y'all gotta be better to each other, y'all. I'm everything. You do. Okay. Love you. Love, love you. you, mom. Love you. Mwah. Bye, girl. We seen mommy. Yeah. Now I want y'all to meet Monique. It's been about six, seven hours of me waiting on Derek to show up. Like, I'm tired. This is 
rude. I called Big Ma to see if he was there. It's like, what are you doing? I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm ready to get the oh. ASAP after this. But look, I just want y'all to meet Monique. Y'all ain't gotta like her. She ain't gotta like y'all, but at the end of the day, this, this is who I'm with. bro. This we all want to give her a That's chance. That's what I'm saying. Y'all my family. I don't want to be like, no, pick a size or none of that. Like, right. we gonna meet tomorrow, man. Just be on y'all grown up time. Huh? I'll emotions. be nice. If you tell me to be nice, I'll be nice. I love y'all, man. All right, bro, love you. All right. Ready? Look, I just want to, you know, get through this. Gotta help your mom like This is Ashley. Not much talked about. Ashley, this is Ashley. my mom. Oh. Thank you, I'm crazy. Oh my god. I'm so glad you guys are finally getting to meet. Yes. It makes me very oh my happy. Gosh. And you're tall too. So, you know. It's, yeah. it's okay. You look it's great, easy. Mama. I know. It's been approximately four years or so since the last time I saw my mom. Oh my God. I'm wow. I'm I'm sitting by him. All the time. Yes. All the yes, time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're just not going to break that bond. Yeah. I will never mm. do that. I don't know if I would consider myself a mama's boy, but I would f mother up for my mom, for sure. Oh. I love candles. I love candles. So then smell oh, this. Oh, another one? That's the one that she got. Yeah. And we even got you one more. From Teddy. So it's kind of got that, you know, lemony smell. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Ooh, we wanted to give you some because I miss you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So glad to see you again. Mm. Seeing Travis, you know, it's just like a uh, fireworks. Yeah, so grab some... this and let's oh, okay. go. Yeah, yeah, I'll grab this. I'm just kind of leery about their financials. You know, I have concerns. Yes. So sit right here next right. to me. Oh. I told him to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. the spring is amazing. I know. Yeah. So let me see your jewels. Yeah, so this is like a temporary engagement ring. And it's from the 1940s. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Does it fit any of my fingers? <laughs> I mean, oh, what? Oh, look oh. at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Same oh, ring size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll be spoiling you soon enough as soon as, you yeah. know, our life gets back to normal. Yeah. And I'll give this back when I know I love you. Oh, yeah. you can borrow it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, oh, she has so many pieces like that um, up on her website. I've seen your site. My gosh, the jewelry on there is unbelievable. Thank you so much. A little out of my range, but, you know, price-wise, but well, that's, that's who you go for, the rich people. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's very glamorous business, but mm -hmm. um, it's been rough. I want you to know that's never what I intended. Mm -hmm. And, um... Okay, it's okay. So, if uh, the money isn't rolling, how are you going to make it? It's hard. I mean, we're trying to figure it out. I don't think it would be a good move for them to get married at this time. I know her business is in jeopardy, and then Travis, you know, has no job. There's too many questions. There's just too much blanks in this so, are you guys ready to see the rest of the house? Yeah, I'd love it. <clears throat> Let's do it. The pool needs cleaning, and downstairs, the oh, Shangri-La. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I cannot believe this is your basement. I know. Is that a full bedroom? Yes. A full bedroom, a full bath. Wow, Mom, this place is amazing. It's like an apartment. It's got everything. Meant for you guys to stay while you sort your things out. And, you know, I just would love to have you stay. I, I really That's appreciate too generous. it. Like we, we're grown adults. We should I mean, be able to figure this out. We should be able to figure it out. This is like a dream basement, but 
I don't want to be under a microscope. And I know she's going to be watching everything I do and say. And I can't be constantly on edge. I need to relax, breathe. I need to get to know you. Absolutely. And I need to love on you. Uh, and so no, I, it's amazing. it would be it's... my treat if you would. Did you relapse? Hello? Where have you been? What the hell? I mean, all day I've been just nauseous, just sick in my stomach. I'm fine. I'm glad you're fine. Yeah. But understand how I feel. I'm sorry. I thought you were... I'm sorry. I'm fine. I love you. What is going on, though? Well, I'm not You'll going. have to tell me what's going on. What? Seriously, let's go sit down. Let's go... What is going on with you? And, and Is it Nate? Is it... What's going on? Um, I mean... Obviously, something is up. Um... I mean, we were just arguing from the night before, and he was mad that me and Katie were hanging out, and I was late getting home, and then he, you know, it just all came from that. I literally didn't have my phone for like 30 minutes at the most, and Nathan was freaking out, saying that I had been ignoring him, and I was going out and hanging out with guys, and then we went to sleep. I thought it was over with, and this morning, he was being so dramatic, I'm just over it. Well, I'm I'm worried. I'm over it, too. I mean... He uh, accidentally shuts my phone in the truck door, and it breaks, and I broke his phone back. He's just really pissing me the f off, so we just need to get away from each other right now. I don't want to see you like this. I don't want to worry about you nonstop again. You don't have to worry. Yes, I, I do. I'm your mom. Like, I'm a nervous wreck. Well, you don't need to be a nervous mom. Well, I know you babe, have every I right need to be, but... you. No, I need you to get it together, and I need you to decide what you're doing with Nathan. I don't think, I don't, the, what I'm seeing is not positive. This is not healthy, and it doesn't need to keep happening over and over. No. Like, the whole reason that I thought that this relationship would be a good thing was I didn't think that there would be arguments like this or fights like this. But, I mean, when you're in jail and talking on the phone in there, you make everything, like, everything's going to be great. We're going to just be so in love and everything's going to be fine. And then real life is just, that's it's a whole different ball game. I'm worried. I mean... You're literally both two ticking time bombs. <laughs> like, I mean, seriously. Because not just your addiction, but, you know, you're both, like, super competitive and explosive when you argue. Yeah, we definitely get heated in our arguments, but... Um... It's going to be harder for you to stay clean if you're in a relationship that you're fighting in, because that's from your past. That's where your triggers usually were. Relationships from your past that triggered you to use. And that's obviously something that you need to think about. I mean, if, I mean, do you think that because of all of the fighting that, you know, it's gonna cause you to relapse or did you relapse? No, absolutely not. That's not even a, I mean, you would know, I think. I, you know yeah. me well enough to know I when know, I do. But so. Obviously, that's a huge fear. Right, yeah. No. So, I mean, I. the first thing I think when I can't find you, oh, my God, she could be dead. So, you know, I don't want to go back there. I can't go back there. When I asked her if she relapsed and, and she said no, I could have done cartwheels on the living room floor. If he's not going to be beneficial to my recovery, then that's where the relationship mm -hmm. can't continue. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, 
I think that I have to give it a fair chance. Nathan, he has a long way to go to show me that, you know, he is stable and can be stable for Skylar. I just hope, I hope for the best, obviously, because, mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm so over love, Mom, like, if, if this doesn't work, like, I'm over. Mm -hmm. Love hasn't brought me much other than problems and pain so far in my life. So if this doesn't work, like, I just, I give up. Like, I just don't want to invest in another relationship and it not work out again. Love yourself, you know? Yeah. The right person will come along if, he, if it's not him. You're going to wait to get engaged. Eight kids, I mean, what's not to be excited about? I'm just like, I don't know, I think I'm in disbelief. A little overwhelmed, but I'm really, really excited. Now that I know I'm pregnant, is now the perfect time to quit a job? Um, I don't think so. Mike says he doesn't want me to work, but um, there's a lot of things that factor into it. I like to go to work for my social interactions with other people. If not, I just spend my, my time with children and with him. Like, at times, I need to talk to other, other women. So I enjoy going to work. Hi, Justine. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, you know, just busy. I wanted to talk to you. You know, I've been working with the company for a few years now. And as you know, my husband recently came home. And, um, you know, as grateful as I am um, to work with such a great, you know, company, I did want to let you know that I am going to be resigning so I can stay home with my husband and my children. Uh, what, you're, qu you're quitting today? Yes. Uh, are you sure, Justine? We're on our way to the studio. I kind of found this studio online. It's not what I'm really used to. It's not a big studio. You know what I mean? I can't really leave my area, so I'm forced to really kind of grab whatever's around. Music is going to be the thing that I use to support my family. I get one mega hit is over. I'm rich for life. What the f is this? Hey, what's up, my man? What's up, bro? Good, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Where we going? We're going straight upstairs. Cool. Yesterday, I did a little researching. I found this guy that looks like I'll be able to go and record some of my music there. I just want to record some and, you know, see if I still got it. Not bad, bro. I know it probably ain't what you're used to, but, I mean, we can make it happen. This is the first time I get to hit the studio in six and a half years, though. It's going to definitely be something. I'm excited about it. Um, you ready to rock? Yep. <clears throat> Here we go. It must be the bars, it must be the moves, it must be the way that I slay. Cause I came from nothing to turn into something, I refuse to give it away. Getting in front of the mic after so long was the same feeling I felt when I was having sex with Justine for the first time. I've been sitting on the throne, grab a seat, pull up a chair. If you love me, then you love me. If you don't, then I don't care. I was actually the mic. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's just that feeling like I let it, I let it all out. I've been waiting for the you know what I mean? Hoping I feel the ass will I prevail because I just left the jail in a UFO. When Justine quits her nursing job, I need to show her that I can support her and the kids and, you know, be a provider because I've always been a provider. That was killer. This kind of puts a damper on everything. I'm short staff right now. I know. I mean, I'm sorry. Are, are you sure you don't want to think about it for a couple days? 
I've been going back and forth on it for a little bit now, and my husband's pretty adamant, like, that he wants me home more. Okay, I just really hope that this is a decision that you want to make, not your husband. I just feel like this is a necessary step for um, my marriage and my family. All right, I'll send you some discharge yes. papers. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. How's it been? Like, you know, I've been going six years, man. Well, when you see what, what has happened to the music industry since you left, bro, I mean, you're going to cry. I mean, it is. It's atrocious. Basically, like, the way that the, the industry works when it comes to booking shows and everything, you got to have so much crap in, in order. You got to take COVID tests. You got to see what their max capacity is, what you're expected to, to pull there crowd-wise. Like, they want so much more information right off the bat nowadays that it makes... It's not like, hey, can I do it here on a yeah, Friday night? No, it's not like that anymore. Damn. I mean, you're not going to get into a place with unless you have, like, a certain amount of information. I mean, there's obviously states where it's easier, but, I mean, that, that that even that's still out of the question for you, you know? And that sucks, man. I can't imagine being so... You're, like, anchored to a certain point. It kind of sucks I can't move. I can't do nothing right now. I got to sit here and just wait. It makes me very nervous as far as the income from the sneaker business. I don't know if it could suffice and be adequate enough to support my family. Right now, the unknown has me really on edge. I'm gonna leave it in God's hand. It sucks, especially in this area too. You're not gonna be able to even book anything in this area. Hey, mama. Hey. It's beautiful out here. It is. Love it. Sunshine. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah, I wish it was a little cooler. We could make a fire or something, but... I am your fire. Yeah, I yeah. know it. <laughs> Where's Ashley right now? Ashley had to go do some work. You know, she's just going to see if she can find some uh, good pieces, maybe that she can flip one or two. Mm -hmm. Make, you know, some money just to, you know, get us something. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm an antique and estate fine jeweler, and I'm looking around for anything, you know, Art Deco, platinum, gold. Like, do you have any fine jewelry? Working is what gets my mind off of everything, and if I'm working, there's always a chance that I could sell something, and we won't have to move into my future mother-in-law's house. Let me just show you, like, stuff like this. If I sell this stuff here, I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> then why aren't I? <laughs> I mean... So, when you were in prison and having this correspondence with Ashley, you know, she was in a good spot. She was selling jewelry, she was selling it for big money and whatever. It was incredible. Like, it was money that 90% of people wish they make. And at some point, when sales became less, you know, she's yeah. barely getting by. I mean, she scrapes by by still selling a piece here or there. You're going to wait to get engaged or get married. I'm not saying that at all. I know for a fact that I love her. Be together. I I, I'm fine with that. And Be look, together. I Just don't make it permanent. Why would two people that are having problems say, OK, let's just get married because that'll solve it? And it won't. It won't solve it at no, all. No, I'm not saying that that's going to solve Anything. all the financial problems and all the living arrangements and all that <laughs> But you know what it does? It reinforces two <laughs> up minds like hers and mine that we have somebody that's 100% in. This is platinum. It's from 1930s. Definitely Art Deco. You good? It's probably two and a quarter carats total weight in diamonds. You want to work here? Part time? <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> no, really, I might have to. Who's this? All right, this is... Oh my God, they're platinum. Oh my God, this is perfect. Her deficiencies, I'm good at. My deficiencies, she's good at. And together, that's why we make such a good team. Live together. That's all I'm saying for a while. You know, six months, something. Just put a slowdown on it. We'll That's see, all but... I'm asking. Travis and Ashley, I 
just don't think they're good for each other. They would be if they got you to know each other. I think they skipped a couple steps and it's gonna cause a lot of problems. It's a good decision. No, you're determining that because of not knowing. You've just met her. You just and met her for so the first have time. You. Mom, I've talked to this woman five times I... a day, every single, single day. day, 365 for four years straight. I know every single quirk about this girl. But everything. You have not seen her in this world no. with no money, with you know her business. And you know going... what? And now is going. To and you know the only thing I know that I want still is to be with her. That's it. We're done. We're done talking about it. My door is always open. I'm just saying I just found out something I didn't know about you. So what'd you do yesterday? Darren got out. He had met me up at the store. We were just catching up. He was happy to see me. Okay. That's all it was. What time did you end up getting in? Like, a little after 11. You was in here sleeping like a baby. You was snoring. After I seen my sisters at my sister's house, they ended up taking me to my mother's grave site. And how did it make you feel? It was stressful. So why did you meet up with your sisters without telling me? I, I didn't. I just, well, I mean, really, my brothers pulled up on me at the store. him turning off his location. I feel a little betrayed, because I don't understand why he didn't tell me that that's what he was going to do before he actually did it. That way, we could have sat and talked about it, or we probably could have even went together. I'm glad he was able to sleep and get some rest mm -hmm. without me, because y'all know how you be. You so scared, calling me, texting me, blowing me up. Come home, come home. Yeah, I was scared because I don't know who's following me. Like, when I'm out here, like, I don't really feel safe unless I'm with you. What's that? What's that? Probably my parole, sir. My PO told me, be on the lookout for a drug treatment specialist to call. This is Derek to do a drug assessment over the phone. Your history of drug use, what have you used in your in the past? Marijuana, cocaine, heroin. Your last use of any of those was at 10 of 13. Yep, exactly. Does federal parole have you doing any substance use programming or anything? No, I'm getting, I'm waiting to get evaluated. Okay. Derek never told me prior that he's ever used marijuana, cocaine, heroin. And your support system, good people you have in your life. Yes, I have family, I have a girlfriend. All right. Uh, All right. If you have any questions, we're good. All right, thank you. Have a good day. He would never use his own products. That's what he's always told me. He was more a drug dealer. What's going on? Um, that conversation was really interesting. That's like P.O. business. Well, it was nice to be called your girlfriend. Made you feel good? <laughs> it did, but I never knew you used drugs before. That was old, back in the, like, when I was younger. Like, sometimes when you selling drugs, you use drugs, too. Like, with heroin, when I used to be breaking it down and all that stuff, mixing it and all that, it got in my system, being around it like that. It's called a table high. It get in your system, your pores. OK. And I'll what about cocaine? Okay. Yeah. You used to use it? I'd lick it. OK. See if it was good or not. It's part of being in the streets and the drug trade. I ain't like you ain't got to worry about that. I ain't on that. I ain't in that no more. I know, cause I never even thought. You know what I'm saying? You ever did that before? So, kind of want to believe him, but a part of me is questioning a lot that he's saying. It's not a big of a deal. I just feel like he's withholding a lot of information, even though it is from his past. I'm not making it seem like it's a big yes, deal. Weird, like, just I'm just saying I just found out something I didn't know about you from your past. That's all I'm saying. Because he withheld so much things from me already. This is another one added onto the list. 
It wasn't like no every day like that. No. I don't shoot dope. I ain't got no track marks or nothing like that. So you didn't tell me about the drugs. So is there anything else that you didn't tell me that you feel like I need to know? That's a broad... Whether it's from your past, now. No. Yeah, it's a lot of things she don't know. I'm not finna tell her right now. Little bits and pieces she gonna get as our relationship progress. You were gone all day yesterday, so I have to look. Yeah, I was with family. I wasn't with nobody else. Today, I ain't gonna put too much on her because she ain't gonna know how to handle it. So, after everything that happened the other day, like... The car chase? Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that, but... Did you talk to your sisters about it? Like... They said it wasn't them, but I don't know. I mean, who else can it be? I'm just saying. I don't know. What happened the other day was pretty serious. Like, I had to get a new car rental. I had to get a new hotel. And you sitting up here talking about you don't have no answers. Derek. What's up? Who else could it be? If it wasn't them, who else? I don't know who it was. So it's not the girl from your past, a girl that you're dealing with, an ex, a current girlfriend? Man, you know, you're the only girlfriend I got. For now. Man, stop it. What other females will be chasing you? Hell about no. So, come on, niggas, going back to Chicago. And I want her to hurry up, get everything in order out there so she can come out here, so we can be out here together. But I haven't had a chance to talk to the CEO. Like I was talking to her when I was in prison. I haven't even had a chance to see her. I'm looking, I'm looking very much forward to things like that. Just put it behind us, man. We made it. We did good. We ain't got to worry about all that. Mm -hmm. We have real concerns as your family. We What a way. She said she didn't want to come. She ain't want to come here, but you going to go to town. Do with her. Do with her. Take it up with her. Oh, we will. I'm about to call her. Sister. Sister. We don't see you nowhere. Where you? What you doing? Um, resting. Resting? And a lot of other stuff. A lot of other stuff, like what? This Stephanie. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I heard you just ain't want to come. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Because <laughs> I expected to see my new sister in law, and I don't see you, and I'm not going to lie, I feel away. We're not going to start off like that. We would never exclude you. Don't exclude yourself. Yes, we really wanted to meet you. You got right, yeah. family here. It's T Dog right here. This is T Dog. You yawning? Yeah, we gonna call you back because you tired. I'm not trying to be that one, but I'm gonna be that you one. You can be whatever you want. You're my direct my sister. You yelling at us because your wife ain't wanna come to your party. Uh, you free. And she was dry on the phone. I don't care how much you got the night before. You be more energized when you get some good. This definitely raised a red flag for me about Harris because if you don't show up just because, it was just a big, to me, middle finger. Okay, nephew. I have all the questions and concerns from an Ani perspective. And it's like, not only did he just get married, he just came home, he's on paper. What is he gonna do for money? How's he gonna provide for this family? Just trust him. It's going to be OK. OK, you say trust you. This came out the same mouth that just had to go finish doing time because you wanted to drink some liquor. So what happens if something happened and you still on paper? Something happened and something happened because I'm on paper. Oh, well. Then you're going back to jail and you got to wait. But I got to do the time. Y'all don't got to do the but time. But it's just still an effect upon us because we love you. I love you, too. Just trust me. Oh, Lord. Can you please trust me? We have real concerns as your family. We don't know this woman. Maybe a part of me is stuck in three and a half years ago, three years ago, and the immaturity of decisions he's made, and to come home, and it's like, are you ready for all of this responsibility of being a husband? I don't know if my nephew is ready for all of that. I'm about to go to my wife. What? I'm about to go to my wife. What? Why? You just got here. You've been with me for like 30 years. I've been with y'all since Are I was a kid. Are you gonna start acting different now because you 
a husband. Auntie, help me. Auntie, help me. I'm not going back and forth with y'all. I'm about to leave. You already moving. She about to have you every day. Wait, I just need to tell you this. I just don't feel comfortable with you moving to Florida so soon. Listen, I'm being serious. I want you to prosper and everything, and I know that you will. I'm just saying so soon. I'm not saying that I never want you to go. I see. Tuss, can you grab that bottle of Bella from me, please? Hey, hold on. How are we supposed to feel comfortable? Man, he tripping. Man, he how are we supposed to feel comfortable with you moving away when she wouldn't even come here to your boy from home party? How do your family feel secure with you leaving with somebody who don't even want to come be somewhere with us, but you telling us to come be with y'all somewhere? Why does it seem like you evade the question? He do. Uh, Why does it seem like you evade? I've been you can't just say to me over there. Answer us. We really want to understand and know. All right, all right. Don't yell at me. You respect me, right? I respect so you, but I don't respect the person. Yes person. or no, you respect you me, right? Who you talking to? You could never be right? talking to me. You Hell respect nah, because right? you talking to me like I'm a kid. Not Families marry each other, not, not just two being, people. Not Families being, marry. Not like how your, her daughter is your daughter, guess what? You keep telling us that's our sister. Sister coming. Sister pulling up. Good, bad, indifferent. Please, shut the Oh, Eric, huh? I didn't even go through what the I went through we until out. last year. Nobody went through what the I went through. You so dramatic. Period, point you blank. so much drama. Hey. Call all your brothers. Hey. Auntie, auntie, I you love you. Stop talking. Me. Everybody no. stop talking. No. Everybody stop no. talking. No. no. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Boy, hey, husband, your ring on the table. Uh, no bills. You hear this? Okay. Damn. Might be an omen. I'm starting to feel like she just want him to herself. I was never on board with Cameron moving to Florida. And I don't know what type of magical vagina she has, but he had not make a mistake, but he needs to. You keep thinking you hard. You, you walk slow. like you got a wedge. You get the hell on. I'm mad. Uh, hey, your wife can show up next time. Next Friday on an all-new Love After Lockup. To my beautiful girlfriend, Monique. We're going to do it together and stay together. I still haven't got my period yet. I got a pregnancy test. I don't know what it is. I love you. Me too. I'm in a nightmare. I'm out of here. What the Kim left. His location seems to be at a standstill. Where are you? An all-new Love After Lockup.